to me, the key next step, and it's a costless step for the American side uh, and potentially for NATO, would simply be to express the view that NATO's expansion, which has encompassed the Baltic states, Romania, Hungary, Poland, is over. That kind of statement could, provi uh, could provide some pressure release uh, at this point, and it should be emphasized, costs NATO and costs America nothing. If it costs nothing, why isn't it happening? Well, uh, you know, at some point, U.S. domestic politics and NATO internal politics have intruded here. NATO has, has continued an expansion campaign uh, in recent years, and at the heart of that uh, is the ability to sell military equipment to, pro, uh, to uh, create forward bases, to establish intelligence capability. All of those things make some tactical sense. But once you talk about Ukraine, the strategic sense of an expansion of NATO disappears. Insecurity increases in Russia, and no additional security is provided to NATO. It's important to remember that the last time Ukraine was invaded by foreign troops. Those troops were German, and the result was 7 million dead Russians, 700 burned cities, and 10 million homeless people. That's in living memory. No Russian leader can tolerate the presence of foreign troops in Ukraine. I believe that that's an existential issue for Mr. Putin, and one that, if forced, uh, he would go to war for.